equation of a circle given um, a diameter. So here we have find the equation of a circle whose diameter line segment AB has endpoints at A7, 1 and at B3, 3. So in this uh, picture here, I've, I'm going to designate this one as 7, 1. That seems more reasonable. And then this one down here is 3, 3. So if we're going to find the equation of a circle, we need to find a few things. Number one, we need to find the center. So the center would be someplace around here. Let's call this center. And to find the center of a circle, um, that just happens to be the midpoint of a diameter because a diameter has two radiuses built into it and each of them have to be the exact same length. So this would have to be the midpoint. So one of the things we're going to have to find is the midpoint of line segment AB. Um, to find the midpoint of line segment AB, it's just the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So the x's are 7 and 3 between A and B. We're going to find its average. So add them together, divide by 2. And the y-coordinates are 1 and 3. And we'll add those together and divide by 2. So the center of the circle is going to have a coordinate of 7 plus 3 is five, uh, 10, divided by 2 is 5. And over here we get 1 plus 3 is 4, divided by 2 is uh, 2. So the center of the circle is 5, 2. All right, but we also need to know the radius. Now the radius is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. The problem here is I don't know the coordinate of this point here, but I do have two that I can pick from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the radius to one of these two points, um, either the 3, 3, or the 7, 1. Now I'm going to choose 7, 1 because the numbers are different, because 3 and 3 sometimes gets confusing which of the two numbers I'm picking. So I want to find this distance. Let's color it in purple. I want to find the distance from the center to 7, 1. So the center has a coordinate of 5, 2, and I want to find the distance to the point 7, 1. So I want to find the distance between these two points. Now to find the distance, we can use the distance formula. So we'll say distance equals uh, the square root of, and then it's a change in x squared. So uh, either 5 minus 7 or 7 minus 5. Um, I'll go center to the edge of the circle. And then you're going to square it. Plus, um, since I started 5 to 7, I'll go 2 to 1. So 2 minus 1, all squared. So the distance from the center to the edge of the circle, uh, we could really replace that with radius. So the radius of this circle is going to equal the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, and positive 1 squared, which is 1. So the radius of the circle is the square root of 5. All right. And then lastly, we could do um, the equation of the circle. Uh, the equation of the circle is um, x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equals the radius squared. So if I plug in all my information, and remember, we have to go back to the center point. So the center is going to be the uh, point that we plug in for h and k. We're going to get x minus h in this case would be 5. Square it. Um, a, a k in this case is going to be 2, and then we're going to square this whole thing. And r squared is square root of 5 squared, better known as just plain old 5. So the answer to this problem is the equation of the circle is x minus 5 all squared uh, plus y minus 2 all squared is equal to 5. And that's it. That's the equation of the circle whose diameter has endpoints 7, 1, and 3, 3.